Hello, Medi World Fan 147 here. Yeah, how are y'all doing? We're going in to Beastmakers uh, now. Uh, we're back with more Spiral Reignited Trilogy. I should probably have opened up with that rather than just suddenly saying we're going into Beastmakers. <laughs> but in the previous part, we uh, completed all of the Magic Crafters levels. I'm recording in the exact same day as me doing Magic Crafters. This is literally just. Um, a minute after me doing my part three uh i'm just gonna record this part eight and then i'll do uh dream weavers and narc uh narc cove nasty's no well the, you know nasty's levels um a different day uh probably not tomorrow the day after the day after that because i'll be streaming but uh i'll have two more parts scheduled uh throughout the month so that's good got some content for uh my home for seven um but once I've done uh, Spiral 1, I might do possibly a Ratchet and Clank game or something. I don't know yet. I'll just go with the flow. I like to just do one game at a time. Uh, I'm just kind of deleting walkthroughs that I hadn't continued and I just started and all that. Because I might do them again at some point. But yeah, I'll just, I'm sort of waffling now as I do. It's like, shut up, Steven. Like, what is your problem? Why do you always waffle on? Yeah, I feel like Beastmakers is a home world that doesn't really stick out in my memory as well as others. I feel like I just always forget it's a home world <laughs> until I'm like, oh yeah, Spyro uh, has five home worlds before Nasty's looks. I always think in my head because I think it's like a Spyro 3 technically has four home worlds if you don't include the super bonus round, and Spyro 2 has three, but one really long home world, which I feel like was going to be divided into two, but they ended up merging into one because they didn't make a spring level. I'm not actually sure, probably because they have Sunshine Springs in Spyro 3, but um, yeah, I always feel like there was a missing homeworld in Spyro 2, the fact that Autumn Plains has so many, but um, also that part of the soundtrack reminds me so much in Breeze Harbor, I do remember that about Beastmakers. Yeah, the main thing I remember about Beastmakers is the level treetops and how hard the level was to play in the original. I feel like the treetop ramps were not as tedious in um, Spyro 1, uh, Spyro Ignited, but yeah, I remember treetops really test their ability to supercharge. But we'll see how we do. I think, to be fair, that's everyone's main memory of Beastmakers is by one, is how hard treetops is. Uh, I don't think it's required in this level exactly, but I think in Terrace Village, there is a skill point for not um, getting electrified by the floor at any point in the level, so I don't think it'll matter here because it's the home world. Okay, this, yeah. The homeworld for we don't talk about Bruno. No. The homeworld level for um, Beastmakers is a bit of a banger. Does sound very much like Breeze Harbor though. And it used to be so beautiful. I'm it sure used to be it so beautiful. Damn, that's a real itself. Actually, to be fair, it still looks beautiful. <laughs> I don't know if it's just like the update graphics, but it does look beautiful. The swamp. This used to be such a nice swamp. But that's he's not the only dragon that comments on how it used to be a nice swamp. I think that'll blow both of them up, yeah. If they're close to each other. Yes, mostly just. We have the do 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 and the whoo part of the start. Very similar to Breeze Harbor. I don't know how the reignited version sounds, but yeah, the original definitely sounds a lot like Breeze Harbor. Oh, wait, that part there. Do 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 Sounds so much like. Oh, I just, I just noticed that part there sounds very similar to Wizard Peak. I don't think I've ever actually noticed that before. I think there's an enemy behind here that always, yeah. It definitely would always catch me off guard in the original, but yeah. That's a very well hidden enemy that just jump scares you. You have to react pretty quick to see now that if you haven't played it before. I just happened to pop into my memory there just as I was going around behind it, but, but wait, I'm pretty sure an enemy jump scares you here. Wild Flight. Okay, I definitely remember that the flights in those two levels are pretty tricky. I can't remember if there's a trophy or something here for destroying all those mushrooms. There might not be, but you can destroy those uh, <laughs> mushrooms. Wait, it's Spiral. It's great to see you. But I gotta His little leaf hat. Oh, that's... well, at least he didn't say thank you for uh, releasing me. He was like, I'll be. I'm unique. I'm quirky, unlike the other dragons. Nice to see, but I gotta go. There we go. <laughs> Enough said. I'm different from the other dragons. Right, is this Terrace Village? It's here. Or, or is this Treetops? Oh no, this is Treetops. AKA Depression. <laughs> I remember that uh, this level. I was pretty. I mean, I think everyone does. 
Uh, remember our level for a very tricky super jump spin. No, you know, as bad as I remember it being. Especially in Reignited. I feel like Reignited definitely did make a lot of parts easier. Compared to the original. I don't think I'm gonna say anything back there. Yeah, I just think of Beast Bakers when you hear that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorry, not Beast Bakers. Uh, Beast Harbor is what I meant to say. I think you could step on that while it's electrified if you defeat them as they're electrifying it, because I think it doesn't kind of be electrified anymore, even if it clearly is still lit up after you kill them. Don't hold me to that, though. I don't know why I didn't flame this thing, actually. There's a new life in there, I just completely ignored that. I liked the way they knew, like... Oh, I remember, like, they teased us with a, a remake of Spiral Reignited in the uh, Crash Insane trilogy because of that sound effect. Uh, in the trailer for the Crash Insane trilogy, that do -do 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 sound. But I like the way the new lights looked in this. I wonder why they did we didn't keep that in um, the other games. I mean, the blue slash purple butterflies looked really cool as well. But yeah, I thought that the uh, little uh, spiral uh, statue you could like to look pretty cute too. Everything behind here, just to make sure there's no gems here. I couldn't remember quite. Oh, yeah, there's the boss there. I think we'll take care of Metalhead and the flight again first. Just do it the way I normally do. Get the boss and the flight out of the way and then we'll just play the levels. Alright, see if we can make this glide from here. He's a diamond doctor. Oh, he's a diamond doctor. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I'm just thinking that in my head right now, but that's something nice. That I feel like I always die at this part. Like, I seem to always flop that glide back onto that ledge there. But it doesn't matter, we'll keep everything we just collected. I don't think I ever make that glide, to be honest. I feel like I always flop it. But I can't remember if that's the last of Gemdiff together in that crate, but we'll see. Did it ease the diamond, Doctor? Right, is that the last of the gems? No, we're missing some. Oh, from over here. Oh! Why were they pointing like it was at the very start? Sparks, why why you send me up to feel like this? Yeah, technically you can still step on it while it's electrified, because like, yeah. I stepped on it there just at the very end of the electrified uh, animation. Have we got a dream weavers yet? I feel so oh. sorry for all the dragons still trapped in crystal. Maybe once you've rescued 50 dragons, I'll feel a little better. Oh, okay, yeah, I wasn't going to yet, but I was curious to know if we could go to Dreamweavers yet, because we could go straight to Beastmakers before we even did any of Magic Crafters. Alright, so now that we've got everything here, uh, yeah, we'll do Metalhead first. I will do Metalhead. I think I remember Metalhead as a bit of a trickier boss. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to smack my mic there. I think I remember Mithead as a bit of a trickier boss. I can't remember with Jax is difficult. I feel like Jax is a easy boss himself. I think the level is, is a bit tricky, but yeah, we'll see how Metalhead is. I feel like I think it's only Metalhead himself you have to not take a hit from. I think you could take a hit in the rest of the level. I think I remember this is a bit of a longer one um, boss level before actually fighting Metalhead himself. I think I remember there's a very well hidden area uh, with treasure and that in it. Oh, <laughs> oh, I can't remember how they sound in the original, those creatures, but they sound funny in the uh, Reignited. Oh, I feel like they do sound similar. Ow. God, I feel like Spyro Reignited trilogy did such a good job with the remake. <laughs> like, they paid so much respect to the original. Like, I know I have, like, very slight complaints with it, but, like, I do think... Looking at the bigger picture, like they, they did pay such good respect to the original game. I think Insomniac would have been proud. Or probably are proud. Oh. I feel like a lot of the uh, games I play in modern day are remakes of like, older games. <laughs> uh, 
I was gonna say excluding Resident Evil, but then again, yeah, Resident Evil is even a remake of all games, but uh, apart from Village and Resident Evil 7. But, um, yeah, this level soundtrack's a banger too. I forgot about this one, but yeah. My head's a banger. Beastmaker itself is a banger. For some reason, my brain just seems to just shut out uh, Beastmakers when I think of this game. Like, every time I think of a level, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember the whole world's inspired with uh, the dragon. They are artisans, peacemakers, magic crafters, and dream weavers. I seem to always just like overlook um, Beastmakers for some reason. I was thinking, like, oh, maybe the levels just aren't as good. Maybe the, 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 the soundtracks just don't slap as hard. But I'm like, no. But I just don't know why I forget. I always remember treetops, though, as a level. So I don't know why I forget um, Peacemakers. So, yeah, we just got a bit of uh, gem collecting to do before we defeat Metalhead. I think I remember Metalhead can take a few attempts to not get damage from. I think I did actually have to try a few times to get all the skill points, but we'll see. To get the skill point, I mean, not all the skill points. But... Oh. Okay, stop trying to glide when you're going to bat Steven, because I keep headbutting the wall. I'm thoroughly enjoying playing this again for you. I'm looking forward to my stream tomorrow, because I remember I went for like 10 hours just chilling and playing a uh, Spyro 2. Like, I just didn't want to stop because it's having so much fun playing Spyro 2. And other people seem to be enjoying watching it too, so it just kept me wanting to go longer. Right, so where was the chest this goes into? I can think of it. I actually can't remember where this goes. <laughs> we'll let Sparks guide the way. We have the key though. It isn't over there, is it? No, we glided over there. Yeah, we'd have seen it from here. It's good Sadiki. Metalhead is all charged up to meet you. Attacking the power pole should disrupt his power supply. Yeah, so basically we have to attack the purples that aren't all charged. Oh, I think I remember where it goes now. I remember, I remember where the chest is. We have to defeat him first, though. So I think we have to destroy the ones that aren't lit up. Oh, and also charge any of those that fly our way, too. Oh, there we go. I'll have to let him kill me, then. That'll do it. Ugh. I think it still counts to perfect if you, like, die and respawn. And they don't take any damage after respawning. So yeah, you basically have to charge the power poles while they're not being powered. Just make sure you're charging whenever he fires an enemy our way. Because I think if an enemy connects with us while we're charging, it just kills them. I don't know if you have to flame them or not, though. I feel like you can't charge them. Can you charge? Oh, you can't flame those. Okay. Just be very cautious, but just take a bit of time because don't take any damage. There we go. Right, I think there's only two phases to this boss fight. I think that's just just done phase one. It's not really a hard boss fight, but it's just one that I feel like it's a bit trickier to take absolutely no damage during Metalhead. It turns out you can't even die to him. I'll just have to reset level. This kind of reminds me a bit in a level from Spiral 2. Not Spiral 2, a uh, Crash 2. Uh, Greg strikes back after the uh, slippery climb level. That part in there just kind of reminded me in that level. I can't remember what it's called, but the one in the castle. Yeah, I'm not sure what the bulls actually about to turn red, so I'll just wait for them to stop being red so that I have time to charge them. Oh no, we took damage! Oh, my bad. I got super impatient there. Stupid skill point. <laughs> I think they don't even power up right away. Like, when you see them lighting up red, I think they take a few seconds to actually electrify. Yeah, like that. I think that's like a warning when you see them light up. Oh no! I got too impatient there. 
Right, I'm only going to try that first one because that caught me off guard that they all just powered up before. There we go. Preemptively flame there just so they don't count as hitting us. It's actually kind of funny if this actually is considered a perfect because we've killed ourselves so many times trying to achieve this perfect. <laughs> Down he goes. Skill point. Okay, there we go. So yeah, there was a little cheat you could do to get a skill point. If you ever get hit, just let yourself die and then try again. <laughs> No skill points acquired there though in the originals, so if you do take damage, it ain't no, it ain't no biggie. But yeah, the, the little uh, key chest is in here. But yeah, I completely forgot where it was in uh, this level. And a little bit past Millhead, there's a little bit more treasure wise. Turn home, but not quite yet. Does it say return home? In the original that portal, I can't actually remember. I remember in Spyro Three, like I don't know, Spyro Two and Three have the same thing where like this little exit portal opens up to teleport you back to the home world. Yeah, I like the little whirlwind though from Spyro One. There's some things I wish they did keep from Spyro One <laughs> uh, into Spyro Two and Three. I don't know if this one together like an original player. One thing I wish they kept from Spyro Two and Spyro Three was um each level having a a cutscene. I don't know why that was something that he changed in Spyro 3. In Spyro 3 you just jump straight into a level without a cutscene. Without seeing what's, uh, what mischievous actions are taking place before the level starts in that land. It's probably because like, in Spyro 3 like, none of them are really related to Repto, so like, you know that everything that's going on in each world is mostly to do with the Rhinox and the Sorceress in Spyro 3. But there you go, we've completed Melhead, and we got a skill point after letting ourselves die many times. <laughs> but no, we're just boost, and we don't take any hit. Oh, I just noticed there. Up in the clouds. I don't know if that's the same there, no, but like... I think that's meant to look like a moon, but the moon looks a bit like a beast, because you can see the horns. Let me see if you still notice it here, but I noticed it when we were flying. Okay, I don't see it here, but I noticed it when we were flying out the level. Right, before we do any of the main levels, let's do the, uh... Speedway slash uh, flight first. Yeah, they're called speedways in every other Spyro game. Well, unless you're talking about ones after Spyro 4. I can't remember if the a Hero's Tale had speedways or anything. But the, the atmosphere of some of the later Spyro games look so different. I probably would like give them a try and maybe end up enjoying them. I don't know if it's just very daunting, like having a very different vibe of a Spyro game to play. And I'm just like, oh, it's not what I'm used to. But, uh, God, I said it so deeply, I said that. I was like, oh, it's not what I'm used to. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. I, 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 I remember hating this fight. Uh, but we'll see how we do. It might take me a few tries to get. The Viper is just one, but I feel like the order you have to do this one is such a messy order. <laughs> we'll see how we do. I'm pretty sure in my long play, in my first playthrough though, I had to edit the holy hell out of my gameplay. Da 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 I missed a chest, but I don't know where though. Oh, there! Okay, so we got boats to take care of here too. What's the other thing? Oh, these archways, yes. Wow, if we just first try, I'll be impressed. Because I've. Oh, oh, never mind. I should have said that! It was looking like it was going well though! It's just because, like, it doesn't seem like you have to do everything in the same order, like. Get all eight of one thing, all eight of another thing, all eight of another thing. It's like, it's kind of jumbled up, this one. But I remember, like, the, uh, eight at nine part with those Rhinox you have to flame in the boats. I remember that part just seemed, like, really easy, like, considering... I don't know, I just remember, like, considering it was, like, a later level. I remember finding that part, like, really easy, and I was like, oh, that's a very easy challenge for late in the game. 
And, uh... Oh, I'll just switch back brain for that one then. Yeah, I feel like the first time playing this speed, this uh, flight's very daunting because it's not very obvious the order you have to do all these in. Yeah, th there's a trophy for doing all these speedways without touching the ground, or flights even, without touching the ground. But yeah, my friend uh, doesn't want a platinum, uh, the Spyro Ignite trilogy, because of the flights, because she struggled to do them without touching the ground. I remember the original, I guess, the nostalgic of that sound effect, the wah 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 sound of like, when you've collected all the uh, collectibles from uh, one segment of a speedway. Oh, I missed that plane, but hopefully... Okay, <laughs> I missed it again. Can you not game? We don't have all day. Oh my god! Okay, we'll just have to restart because... Yeah, retry. For some reason our flame just wasn't working on that plane. I don't know why. I'm certain we were flaming it. What's that mean? Like, the flame feels like it has, like, no range in it at all, but, like, there was times there where, like, I was getting, and I was like, really? That hit? Of all times? Like, what is this? Dead by Daylight? The box having a mind of their own. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there we go. We've got two in a row there. I wonder how hard this flight is in the original, though. If it was a lot of parts, they did make easier and reignited. I only have one more boat to take care of. Okay, don't don't crash into the water, Steven. I think we might have nailed it this time. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, we did. We actually walked it that time. We had a lot of time remaining. We tried. No, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably be editing the hell out of that uh, speedway or flight. But now on to the main levels, um, which are Terrace Village, Misty Bog, I think, and Treetops. Oh, God. Should we get treetops out of the way or save that to last? I'm not actually sure. <laughs> we'll see. I'll just do them in the order that we appear at them first here. I think I remember Misty Bog uh, just has the ending credit soundtrack because the, um... Or, like, a remix version of it. It's very similar, anyhow. But it has the ending credits music to it. Wait, is this Terrace Village over here? Should we just do this one since this one has the skill point? So we can just get out of the way. Let me see if I can remember the music from this level. I can't quite remember how it goes. I'll know it when I hear it. Because I know all the Spyro soundtracks, but I feel like some don't stick it in my head as well as others. But when I hear it, I'll know it. I do like this home world a bit more than I remember, though. I think it's just because like, I remember I don't like the flight from it. Treetops is hard. So I feel like it's a, it's a home world I'd rather forget. But uh, yeah. Oh god, that looks naughty. <laughs> Bobbing up and down. But I do like how you can breathe fire and sway side to side while loading your levels. But, um... I'm looking forward to playing Dreamweavers for you next time, though, when I go back to the game. Yeah, I'm going to take a break from my recording this day after this part. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah, I remember the soundtrack for this level. I feel it sounds like a door being knocked. Like, rat a tat 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 The other part, I mean, when it plays. But the dun, 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 dun. That's what made things I remember this level. Oh. Just like a... Yeah, that part there. Da, 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 da. It looks like you could jump down there, but I'm pretty sure you can. That looks like it'd be a safe place to step on. So it's not. Oh god, you had no idea we were there, I don't think. Da, da, da. Oh, that's unfortunate. Very badly executed charge, I will admit. Yeah, Terrace Village. These Norks aren't even Norks. They don't look like Norks. They're like blue Norks. Yeah, but like in this game, like the enemies are clearly like Norks, and it's very they are all Rhinox. But it's fire too. It's just like all the enemies just seem unrelated to, to Ripto. I do love Spire too. Don't get me wrong though. I feel like they just assume that like all the uh, things that are running Riot and going out of hand are a result of Ripto's doing. I don't know how, but like things are trying to get more. Heated because of Reptos presence. I, I'm just gonna run with that because that seems to make more sense of every other explanation. But um, 
Yeah, the, the Norks in this level don't look like they're part of the Mafia or something. They, they, they look like thugs or something, or... Maybe they're just very emo, I don't know. They're just rebel authority. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Right, I don't think this level requires you never getting damaged. I think it just means don't get electrified. I think that the skill point pops once you reach the end of the level. Like, once you actually get to the exit portal. And then you can just go back and then electrocute yourself. <laughs> or, or I think it's once you defeat all the enemies that are on the electrified floors, maybe. Da, 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 da. I like how they did come up with skill points, Watch though. Out, the Norks in these parts have discovered the power of electricity, and it really stays. Alright, so it's from here onwards the skill point takes place. I feel like you've like a, a bird. I can't explain why I thought that that uh, Nork looked like a bird. And it really stings. But I wonder if they did have skill points though for this game that they didn't end up adding and then Somniac told them what they were and then they added them or if they just came up with them themselves because it's actually pretty cool that they uh, had the creativity to come up with skill points themselves and never were added to the original. Yeah, Spyro, uh, not Spyro, I mean Ratchet and Clank has skill points too, but I know in like uh, Ratchet and Clank 2 and 3 got some of the skill points were pretty tricky. There was like a skill point I think for getting all, uh, uh oh, I've already messed up, but there was a skill point for um, I think for getting all of his outfits as well, which took forever, I think for doing all the airship levels without I actually can't remember, but I remember some of the skill points in Ratchet Clank 2 were pretty rough. <laughs> I plan- oh! So I guess you do get electrified when you defeat them. For some reason I just remembered in my memory that even if the floor is electrified, if you defeat them before you land on it, it doesn't electrocute you, but I guess it does. But um... Oh, whoops. Let's not be hasty here. It is pretty cool that uh... If you screw up the skill point though, you could just like damage yourself and it's just fine. <laughs> Not damage yourself, I mean jump off a ledge and it's fine. Oh, I didn't get that gem. Yeah, I do want to play the Ratchet and Clank games again on my channel. I want to redo part one because I did that as like a live stream and all that. And someone I don't talk to anymore uh, was very present in a lot of it. So it kind of triggers me having it uh, as part of my walkthrough. So I feel like starting that one all over again. Um, just as a fresh, just doing it as a, a walkthrough. And now that I've got an RTX as well, I have a much better card for doing PS2 walkthroughs. Oh! Just as well I keep letting myself die here because I didn't see this. I thought both of the rockets were up above. This level side track though, I just keep thinking rat tat 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 Yeah, I know the next rocket's up above though. They do take a few seconds to electrify the floor again though, so I think I just need to be patient. There we go. Right, I'll just run past this guy. Get him first, just so he doesn't like to hide the floor. I don't think taking damage from him matters. I think it's just the floor to, that I have to not take damage from. I can't remember what the, the uh, <coughs> trophy from this level is. I know that in all the Spyro Reignited trilogy levels, that all the levels have a trophy tied to it. And some of them is as simple as just charge a goat and Colossus. But, uh... I can't remember what it was in this level. I can't remember it was in Lofty Castle either, I can think of it, but uh, <laughs> I know that the one in Treetops is a gold one for, uh, I think, uh, charging off all of the uh, speed ramps or supercharge ramps. Job, Spyro. One day you'll be able to tell all the dragons about your amazing adventures. Are you just chilling like that in the original? What I'd really <laughs> like to do is get out of this swamp. <laughs> What I'd really like to do is get out of the swamp. God, Tom Kenny just executed the Spyro 1 roll perfectly. I think it's the way it was meant to be before, like, they obviously found him as an actor for doing the voice, but, um... He does have, like, a lot more personality in Spyro 2 and 3, though. This one is just so, like, I hate Nasty Norg. I'm gonna take care of Nasty Norg. How dare he not like being called ugly? I think the only thing that was a bit concerning is he was offended when we said he wasn't a threat. I'm like, oh, you don't like that you're not a threat? <laughs> That's concerning. Other than that, he seemed perfectly 
relaxed and he was no he was not harming the Dragon Kingdom until he just called him ugly. <laughs> Kinda of funny actually, the plot of this game. <laughs> oh. I almost I messed up there and got impatient again. Right, we will do a bit of backtracking in a sec to get that uh, firework that we didn't get before. Oh, missed a gem there. Da da ra da 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 ra da 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 da. Oh, there we go. I feel like I didn't make that jump, but it forgave us there. Right, moment of truth. I'm pretty sure that's the last electrified floor. So I think the uh, skull point will pop once we defeat that enemy there. Yeah, I think when it checkpoints, it doesn't count your deaths in electrified floors. Let's see. Oh, oh, skill point acquired. Okay, yeah. I think you must have to like go past that point for it to pop then. Oh, okay, I was like, oh god, did we mess up somewhere? I mean, technically we did, but our checkpoint doesn't know that. All right, so there is a glide to do from here. I love these very well hidden glides and hidden areas that are in Spiral One. Some really well thought out hidden areas. They really make you explore at times when you realize you're missing treasure and that. There we go. Du, 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 du. I love how similar that sound effect is to the original. So even like this gets me nostalgic. Cause a lot of the sound effects are very close to the original sound effects from the original Spyros. But uh, I love the medieval remake, but there was just some things about that, that I feel like kind of lost. Uh, me because the atmosphere of it, like the whole gothic scary atmosphere I feel like original was lost in so many levels. It kind of triggered me that a lot of the soundtracks in it were um, just rehashed from Resurrection rather than like completely remade and some of the soundtracks were just completely new, they weren't even like remakes of the original soundtrack in other sense, but uh, yeah. I loved the medieval remake but there's some things I just wish were different about it. But. The original developers were happy with it, but that's the main thing because there's nothing quite like people tampering with your original product and taking away what you wanted from it originally, like taking away from what your initial idea was for a product. But they were happy with the remake, and that's the main thing. Like, like they were happy with how it turned out. So, like, just as long as their original product uh, was in good hands, according to them, that makes me happy to hear. Like, but there we go, that's us done at Terrace Village and we got our skill point. We got all the skill points from Beast Makers now, so now we just have to focus on completing the levels, I believe. Let me see, I'm just double checking. Uh, there's a Haunted Towers, Lofty Castle and Jack's Trophy. Ah. Oh, the Dreamweaver secret room. Is there a secret room in the original? I know where it is here and I don't know how you were meant to know it was there. But is there a secret room in the original? Um, Spire 1. I can't remember if there is. I'll have to check that out. But I wonder if that's like a call out to like some of the hidden areas and development of the Spyro games. Because I know there's like a hidden room that you can access in the uh, Fireworks Factory, which I have done before actually, funnily enough. But there's a hidden area in a Fireworks Factory where there's a life that you weren't meant to access, but I think you could glitch your way into it. I wonder if that's like a little hint at the fact that people knew about those the hidden room because you just go through a random wall and it's uh, the skill point's just in there. I feel like that is like a hint at those people that find those little glitches. There we go. So now Terrace Village. I feel like I remember this level being kind of hard. I feel like I die easily at this level. I feel like uh, the enemies just, I think, to vary you whole. I think even if you have um, full health, I can't remember rightly, but I think I remember you have to be pretty quick at flaming them, otherwise they just gobble you up. But yeah, I remember this level is kind of like a remix of the ending credit music. I'm really excited though about doing the next part though I'll love the uh, Dreamweavers levels. But I feel like, for the most part, if you never played the original, you can destroy those. Actually, I don't think, I don't think they give you skill points. Yeah, we, we got all the skill points. You can destroy those just for fun. Those little, uh, uh, I guess you could say, rodent traps. But yeah, if you've never played the original Spyros, 
the Reignited Trilogy will give you the exact experience with the original that you're looking for. The only thing you will be missing out on is the occasional little bit of nostalgia, like, you know, like, nostalgic sound effects, but, like, you wouldn't need to play the originals to enjoy the Reignited. Apart from the fact that, um, High Caves doesn't have its European soundtrack, which is a lot better. But apart from that, <laughs> and the Tiki Lodge guys in Spyro 3, I think, uh, sounded better in the original, but, yeah. I don't think there's anything you'd be missing out on playing the original if you um, were to jump into this first. Oh yeah, those frogs are actual enemies. I thought they were fodder for a second. Oh, again, very well hidden area right here. I just have to remember about it. But yeah, this is uh, this is the ending credits music. I always remember that about this level. It goes well to the level. It's like a different tone of it. It's like the same track, but it's like a different tempo. Oh. Oh, okay, so they don't just kill you in one hit, but yeah, they do gobble you up. They're like some kind of root enemies. If they're not, I don't think any of the enemies this level are. Oh, yeah, no, there are Norks in this level, but there's other creatures in this level that I'm assuming were summoned by Rhinox. Not Rhinox, I mean Nork. So they're not all um, Norks. Some innocent little hogs in this level. Don't know why that's just making me think of Hog Wild from a. Uh, Crash Bandicoot 3. <laughs> uh, it's so weird because I never actually played the original uh, Crashes growing up. I, I would only briefly play Crash Bash the demo and Crash 2. But I Platinum the Crash Reignite. Not Reignite. Crash Insane trilogy. And it made me actually think, oh, I kind of want to try the original ones now. Be on the lookout for attack frogs. They are cold blooded killers. Attack they are cold blooded frogs? killers. And this used to be such a nice swamp. So says you all. They're always preaching about what a nice swamp this is. Oh. So I'm just having to look around. Make sure to miss the gems. I probably have missed gems. I can look around all I want. Oh. I like how attention to detail, like the same attention when you try flaming. Metal chests, they like light up red from being keyed up. There we go. I don't know what torching those traps do. Are they fodder or. I mean, it's cool just blowing them up, but I do love how the gems look in the uh, reignited. How they're actually see through. In the original, they looked metal. I remember when I was younger, like, I used to always get hungry collecting gems because there's these uh, biscuits slash candy. Well, they're biscuits little mini biscuits you could get here in the UK called Iced Gems. And whenever like, I would click up, click, pick up gems from the uh, spiral, I would think I was picking up like candy or biscuits because uh, that's why I always thought gems were. I didn't know gems were like a precious kind of stone. Um, that was my naive childhood self. Rescue Diamond. He's rich, he's handsome, and he's real hey, he's not so handsome actually. Me. It seems like I've been trapped in here since I was your age. Oh, he's got a mighty oh, bullet ball. Why? Oh no. I remember uh, uh gotta go. <laughs> God. Spyro just doesn't seem to like any of uh, any of his own kind, but he happily talks to Laura and Hunter and all that. He's a lot more vocal in the future Spyro games. The Spyro's just all like, yeah, yeah, whatever, I hate my own kind. <laughs> I think I got everything from over there. Not entirely sure. This part kind of reminds me in a Mystic Marsh. For some reason. These are the little holes I have to jump down here. Even though there's nothing quite like a Mystic Marsh. A Mystic Marsh. Uh, I mean, the only thing that makes it different is you go into war with these parts, Mystic Marsh. But yeah, that part just kind of reminds me of Mystic Marsh. Oh dear. I did actually see him, but I thought if I charged away, he'd miss. But god, no. He, he had auto aim. He was definitely not missing that. We fairly racked up our lives again, though, since all those ones we lost before. This game definitely is generous for health. It's a kid's game, though. It has to be. <laughs> oh. That's why I kind of prefer a kid's game at times. Like, some people just like a little fun, little easy adventure. Then occasionally I charge myself to like Resident Evil in professional mode or something. <laughs> Quite a drastic change of difficulty. Rescued Zeke. Hmm. Very chav name. Me. 
Thank you for releasing me. I look like an aardvark. Oh, I was just going to charge away through all those, but then there had to be an unchargeable enemy amongst all those. Yeah, I remember those frogs. Well, not one area, but it was like four or five of them. It's hard to not get any of them, but they're all just whipping their tongues at you. Right, we're near the end of the level, but we're not done quite yet. There's still quite a bit to do. Yeah, that's the return home port up there. Just, there's still quite a few things left to collect. It's, it's a trophy to jump off of every supercharged speed ramp in um, Tree Tops, but there's no skill point in the level, though. Which you'll do anyway if you're planning on getting everything from the levels, so you'll, you'll get that trophy just by collecting everything in the level. I don't think you have to jump off all of them at the same time, I think you just have to charge off of every speed ramp. You don't have to like, do it all at the same time. I'm going to have to manually pick up all the gems because I don't have any fodder. I don't have any sparks, I was getting absolutely dragged there. I do remember I do lose a lot of health in this level. Rescued Bubba, oh no god, no I deal with him enough in Dead by Daylight, oh dear. I'll tell you what to do with those creatures. Smash them, Spyro! Stamp them out and squish them and squash them! <laughs> How about oh dear. charge them and flame them? We are dragons after all. Be like, that's more like it. He was beginning to sound like the sorceress there. It's like, crush them and squash them and stretch them and squeeze them. I can't actually remember what she says, but I remember she has a dialogue very similar to what he said. Oh god. <laughs> Let me just panicking that I was going to miss there, miss and miss and miss. But somehow I ended up not falling. Again, another very well hidden area up here. Makes you have to explore though, which I love. I'm glad I do know where I'm going though, fortunately. Even though it has been a while since I played it, but things are just coming back to my memory the more I'm playing the level. So I think it's a 500 gem level. Wait, did I miss a gem there? Because I don't have sparks, so I have to bear in mind I'm manually picking them all up. Oh, well, at least we'll die and respawn with sparks. <laughs> yeah, but I missed an arc there, unfortunately. Why not charge them and flame them? We are dragons after all. <laughs> I like how like, the other guy was just getting carried away, get excited, and then his final was like, stop getting excited and joking around. Let's be matter of fact about this. And he's like, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, that's unfortunate. Get wrecked, Sparks. Oh. Whoa. Okay, don't, don't, don't miss any of them. Oh my god. Right, this should be our remaining gems, hopefully. Okay, it looks like we're missing one ten gem. And we don't have sparks to seek him out. Oh, where's there any fodder? There's one here, I think. Oh. Hmm. No, that was that was stupid. I don't know why I did that. Oh. <laughs> I thought I could maybe glide all the way over there from here, but it looks like it's at the very end of the level where I was missing a gem. Oh dear. God, I did get I did get my ass handed to me this time, right? Oh, very emo-looking fairy. <laughs> oh, but kind of convenient. If oh no, that's not convenient. They'd be kind of convenient if it's at the very end of the level, because we could just grab it and then leave. At least we got Sparks back now. Well, I said that before, and then we instantly lost him. Oh! Hello there. It's at the very end of the level. Lovely. Oh dear. Now we just have the dreaded treetops. Wish me luck. Even though there's no one here to wish me luck until after I posted the video, but wish me luck. 
I can't remember how many uh, gems there are overall before the end of the game. I don't think it's as much as 15,000. Um, I know there's quite a lot in Spyro 2 and 3. I wish I remembered the levels in Spyro 3 being a lot longer than they are. Like, the levels felt like they took forever to complete, but probably because I struggled a lot of them. But yeah, I think I remember like in the later years we played Spyro 3, the levels didn't feel as long. There we go. On to treetops. I just I, the main thing I remember is level is just that it's a pain in the arse. <laughs> it's not to see how we do. Oh, we're seeing Spyro from a different angle. Oh yeah, and the this is the actual level the soundtrack's meant to go to, but then they do like a slowed down. I guess you could say a slowed down reverb <laughs> version of it for um the US version of High Caves, which they just used in Reignite. I don't know why they didn't just use the PAL version in Reignite because that was clearly the version that was meant to be for it. Oh yeah, we got super fast egg thieves in this one. Ooh. Oh yeah, same enemies from a uh, male hider in this level too. Da -da 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 -da. I think this is the first level that the egg thieves aren't all blue. I remember I found something satisfying about all the egg thieves like wearing different coloured robes in Spyro 3 when I was younger. Like I used to find it like satisfying because I used to imagine in my head like when I was role playing levels in the back garden, like other egg thief colours, like purple ones and pink ones and that, a bit, I did yellow ones, but yeah, it's, um, I find, I find the egg thieves very satisfying to, to chase after and supercharge, no younger. And also I only really knew them from Spyro 3 until much later, like I think I was like my mid-teens when I discovered Spyro 2 and Spyro 1. I think I was definitely still in high school, either I just started college when I discovered Spyro 2. I remember I got Spyro 1 though when I was um, doing Chad off the Social Care, which was like 2015, 2016. See, so yeah, that's what I mean, like how I didn't really grow up with Spyro 1. But um, it's not a very fun memories playing it, and I do love the game. Like... Actually, at this rate, the way time goes, it probably was like a lot longer ago than that. <laughs> Maybe it was like 2013 or something. No, it was probably 2014 or 15. 2014 15, let's say about that mark. That's around about when I was uh, doing my care course. I remember I was doing that course when playing Spyro 1. First time listening to the soundtracks from it. Yeah, it sounds good at this tempo, but yeah, it's just all slowed down. It just sounds shite. Uh, going to high caves. Rescued Lyle. Spyro, for an amazing tour of the treetops, don't just stop at one supercharge. Yeah, <laughs> he's pre warning us. Look at like he's kind of dragging for it, some kind there. It might not be as bad as I remember. I feel like I was surprised at how I did doing it in the Reignited, but I just remember the supercharges levels are insane. The ones you have to achieve. Ooh! Right, where are those ones that throw bananas at us? I think you can defeat enemies with those propeller uh, chests. Like, if you uh, flame it in the direction of an enemy, I think it kills enemies. Ooh! Even though I'm a vegetarian, I think you should torch that yet, even though in the subtitles. I mean, even though I say audibly that it killed that yet. Oh! Forgot about that strong chest. But we'll, we'll suck it back around to get that one. Oh. The strong chests look different in uh, Spyro 1. I like how they look at Spyro 1, but I also do actually like how they look in Spyro 2 and 3 as well. But I wish they kept these like little uh, repeller chests and um, the ones where you flame the chest and like the gem flies out and you have to collect it for it to pick the uh, gem out of the chest. I don't know why I just find that very satisfying collectible uh, the original that they just removed after that. I think there's a few uh, tricky trip with super you have to do. One to get that egg thief up there and one to get the other dafted the egg thief. I remember even Spyro says that like, we well, could have found an easier spot to get stuck. <laughs> like that was quite a ride Spyro. Oh god, I think I remember. Yeah, there's a few things in this level that are kind of pain. 
to bring it on. Yeah, I remember that, that that's a strong chest that's pretty hard to get. Yeah, there's that one strong chest that we missed before that we could have easily got. I think that's just at the start of the level again, yeah. Uh, we can probably glide over here now. Get this egg thief. What if we could... Oh, never mind, no. <laughs> so what if we could cheese it and just get him before he actually starts moving? Ooh. Oh, there's this uh, locked chest. There's some of the locked chests on the little island with the uh, dragon on it. Yeah, I think when people haven't played Spyro for a long time, when you think of like the Beast Booger's home world, they would think about how our treetops was. At the end of a supercharge ramp, you can really go far. I'm all over it. I am all over it. You say that Spyro, but do you know who it is playing as you? Like, I don't, I don't like that you're putting that much faith into me, Spyro. Well, oh, there we go. Not a good start. I keep headbutting this first platform before you even actually got my speed boost. Oh, there we go. But I think that was only to get that, if I remember rightly. Okay, so I think there's quite a bit to... Uh... Wait, let me go back across there. I think I have to quite get quite a bit of momentum going before reaching that one. Okay, so we didn't get enough there. So I think we have to... Huh. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember the method for reaching each platform in this level. I know there's that one to get that dragon over there that's really tricky. Yeah, the main thing about treetops is just it really tests your supercharged skills. I don't know what tests it most of all. This or Haunted Towers. I know Haunted Towers has a really crazy one. I remember having to actually look up how to uh, get all the gems at that level because I was so lost when I first played it. I had to look at a YouTube walkthrough. I think I... Oh no. I think I over... Um, I don't think I have to do that much to get that uh, gem chest. Let me just... Uh, off myself real quick. I didn't need to get that much momentum for that uh, chest over there. I'll get that one in a second. I could have got that one right away if I remembered it was a there was a strong chest there. Oh, okay. We have to charge all the way through here. Okay, my bad. All right, so we'll get we got enough momentum for this one here now. There it goes. Coming back to me. Oh, easy egg thief. Did he even have an egg for us? I don't even know what that one was carrying. Was he just carrying treasure? Do we have all the eggs? I actually don't know how many eggs are until... I think it's the only level with egg thieves though in... Uh... Oh yeah, because... Uh... I think that's what he mentioned at Dragon at the previous level. Yeah, the future homeworlds don't have any more egg thieves, but I think this level just has thieves, but they don't, they're do not they not carrying eggs, they're just carrying treasure or something. I'm not entirely sure. Right, so we just have one more tricky supercharge to do. We've nailed one. Unfortunately, I think uh, we missed that one strong chest. We'll have to go over way to get now. God, I wonder how I'm going to do this in the original uh, Spyro. Let's stream it tomorrow. Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> also, do forgive me. I feel I have COVID again. Because I've got that feeling where I've got a flu, but I don't feel like I have it that badly. Because I think I've had COVID twice already. So I've got a bit of an itchy throat. Uh, that itchy feel you get in the back of your throat when you have a cold. But I don't feel like I'm getting many of the symptoms. Otherwise, I've just got a bit of fatigue. And uh, feel a bit sick. Not sick. Feel a bit weak. But other than that, I feel fine. Wait. Uh, oh, okay, good. We just recently checkpointed there. Alright, we don't want to get too much of a 
supercharge going here because we uh we don't want to fly past the chest. We just need enough of a speed boost to charge it open. There we go. All that for just a tan chest. Right, I'm just gonna jump off there just so that it respawns me. Oh, come think of it. Oh, how do we actually? Oh, come think of it. I think we do start from here actually for the uh, mega supercharge to reach over the island there. It is over here we have to go, right? Is it over here? Oh no, it's over there, I see it. Alright, here we go. God, I sound like Christy Montero there from Tekken. Oh no, I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know where I have to go now, though. Let's see. Yeah, it's been a while, and I know shouldn't have kept you waiting. But I'm, but I'm here now, so the way I said I decided so much like Britney Spears. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know what I have to do now. Yeah, it had to take a few. I had to take a few tries there to memorize it, but failure teaches success and all that. There we go. Ah, there we go. Not as bad as I remember, but we'll see how that goes in the original. But I think that's a trophy to charge up all the ramps. There we go. That's just got all the treasure from treetops. So I did fail a few times there, but only because I'd played it a while, I couldn't remember the pathing. <laughs> but every time I failed, I remembered what I had to do next. Ladder. You could have found an easier spot to get stuck. Tell me, tell my childhood self about it. There we go. That's just 100 percented everything in Peacemakers, I believe. Wait, can we? Yeah, I was gonna say, can we? Um, whirlwind, uh, back over here. You have learned a lot since you've become a glad. Uh, uh, you learned a lot for a young glad. I can't remember what you said there already. He was like, that was quite a ride, but even he acknowledges it. There we go. It's a really small level, actually, in overall. Just a, a lot of the areas you have to reach are, require a lot of skill and awareness of the level layout. But there we are, up in Beastmakers. I will record my parts of uh, Dreamweavers and Nasty, Nasty's World um, on a different day, but I've enjoyed recording uh, Magic Crafters and Beastmakers for a day. Uh... But yeah, if you enjoyed what you've seen here, please leave me a like or a dislike. It's perfectly fine either way. Um, subscribe if you want to see more bullshit from me uh, and my flop ass self. Uh, check me out on Twitch. Uh, right now, my stream schedule is Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 6 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time, but that could change any moment. Um, I do have a Discord down below if you want to keep up with today with anything going on with me and a Twitter as well and another YouTube channel. But yes, I love you all so, so much, and I will see you in the next part. Well, we go to dream weavers. So Take care everyone. Jump in the balloon and I'll show you the dream weavers world. Oh yeah, do it.